Howdy folks! Today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Blob and Sabretooth action figures from the X-Men Origins Wolverine line. Uh, I was at uh, Walmart today and I saw this on the pegs. Uh, it was red tagged at $14. I'm not sure if that's a clearance price or a sale price. And it was the only one on the pegs so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, I wasn't even aware that the X-Men Origins uh, line had a larger set. I thought it was just single carded uh, figures that are, were part of the line. So uh, I was kind of surprised, happily surprised to find this. Um, looking at the package, uh, it's got the X-Men Origins card design here. And as you can see, it's the comic series uh, Blob and Sabretooth. Uh, this looks familiar to the to the Sabretooth figure, the Toys R Us exclusive one with the Logan on the motorcycle. So I'm not sure if that's the same one or not, but it does look familiar. Looking at the back of the package, uh, it looks like the blob here has a um, has a gimmick feature that you can hurl Sabretooth. I guess it's the villain's version of the Colossus and Wolverine fastball special. I don't <laughs> I guess. So, um, taking a look at here's the description of the of the back here, and you can see the blob here hurling saber tooth, and there are other um, previews of figures in the line here. Um, one is a Weapon X with stasis chamber. Another is a Deadpool with double missile launcher. And this one's Logan with the motorcycle. See, this is the one I thought I saw at Toys R Us that had the, the Sabretooth and the Logan on here. So, I guess it's not a Toys R Us special. So, let's go ahead and open up this uh, package and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and the Blob and Sabretooth are out of their package. And... There are no accessories uh, with these figures. Uh, the only thing that came with them is a catalog to the X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, figure uh, Previews of the other figures on here. Take a look. My son was playing with this one here. He was, oh look, pop the claws, pop it in, pop it out. It was, he was having a fun time with that. And he... This was clearance at Walmart as well, the claws, extending claws. And there's the superhero squad and the cover. Okay, on to the figures. Let's get, get the um, the less uh, figure out of the way. Actually, more because he's bigger. <laughs> uh, but um, of the two figures, uh, this one is the least uh, articulate. Oh, excuse me. My f this is unprofessional. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the blob. Uh, he's the least articulate and um, the um, weakest design figure of the two. Um, you can take a look at the blob here. He's got a nice design. He's got the folds of his flesh on his arms and legs, uh, but it's not uh, solid. It's it's pretty hollow. Um, you can take a look here. It's a pretty hollow figure. The arms are hollow, and the 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 body is hollow. And he's got this gimmick where you pull back his arms for the hurling action. No, not the throwing up kind, but the throwing kind. Uh, but yeah, so he's an he's a he's an okay figure, and you can adjust. There's like a ratchet, so if you want to adjust the length of the arms on there, it, there's like a ratchet on the joints. Uh, artic that, but that's uh, as far as his articulation. Besides his head, uh, his head can go all the way around, and the, the arms do actually swivel. Uh, they actually go in and out, which is kind of neat. So you can adjust if you want if you want uh, 
the blob to throw other guys besides Sabretooth. And of course the arms rotate on a ratchet joint, but the legs don't articulate, they're stiff. Uh, the waist, there's no articulation anywhere else. Um, and there's a piece of paint slop on mine right there. Hopefully I can take that out, rub it out, or paint it uh, out. But yeah, he's the um, the weakest design of the, of the two figures. But still, I'm happy to have a, a blob in uh, four, uh, four inch uh, scale. Now, uh, the Sabretooth figure is, I think, uh, much more superb in design and uh, and and looks. Um, he's. Um, I was kind of surprised though because um, I didn't think he was so big. Um, now, barring the movie aside, yeah, where they have Wolverine at six feet tall, but. Uh, in the comics, I didn't really think he was that big at all, just for a size comparison. You know, here's a Wolverine, X-Men Wolverine compared to Sabretooth, and he's quite big. Even bigger than this, uh, like Captain America. So, uh, but I haven't read uh, Sabretooth uh, in a while, and the last time I uh, saw him in the comics was back uh, in the Mutant Massacre days, so that tells you how long, how long it's been since uh, I've actually run into the Sabretooth character. But uh, design-wise, he's really detailed and he's a really nice figure. Uh, you can take a look at the details in his hair and his his fur and his teeth on there. It's really nice and detailed. And it's uh, articulated very well, too. He's got lots of joints on there. It's a really nice uh, figure design. Although I noticed that the figure is not made of hard plastic. It's a soft, not entirely soft, uh, but midway. Um, but uh, let's go over the um, articulation. Uh, his head does go all the way around, even with uh, f this fur around him, uh, around him. But his head does go all the way around and goes up and down a little bit. His arm goes all the way around goes out and in. There's no bicep uh, swivel on here. Uh, there's elbow swivel and uh, the elbow does go out and in. Uh, the gloves, it rotates on the glove but there's no hand articulation, uh, no wrist articulation on here. Uh, as far as the torso, it can rotate all the way around and can go up and down uh, just a little bit. There's no waist articulation with this figure. The legs are on a ball and swivel. So they go out, they go in, they go up, and even go uh, behind on there. There's no uh, thigh articulation, but it's double jointed at the knee. And it rotates on the foot and goes up and down a little bit. So I'm quite happy with the saber tooth figure. Not quite so with the blob, but uh, for thirteen or fourteen dollars uh, for these two figures, uh, I think it's uh, actually worth it. At least uh, I don't know what the original sale price was for these two figures, uh, but if you can find one at a Walmart uh, for thirteen dollars, I recommend getting it. So that's a casual peek into the. Uh, Blob and saber tooth uh, figure from X Men Origins Wolverine line, uh, and I'll see you next time.